Hi there, students. Okay, here we have an essay at level C2, CPE example model essays. And this one is about society. This is the essay where you have to compare two texts. So topic. Write an essay summarizing and evaluating the key points from both texts. Use your own words throughout as far as possible and include your own ideas in your answers. Shifting sands. Behavioural change. Nowadays, in some cultures, there may often be confusion between generations about what is acceptable behaviour in certain situations. Older people sometimes complain, for example, about the real or imagined rudeness of others, such as in the use of electronic devices in public places. However, the younger generation do not regard electronic communication as intrusive, but rather as fundamental to their way of life. Only increased mutual understanding is likely to resolve potential conflict or confusion in any society. In this case, as in all others, it pays to be aware of other people's points of view. And that's the first text. And the second one, follow my leader. Should we always aim to do what society expects of us? No. What society needs is individuality. Worrying about what other people think inhibits enthusiasm and creativity. Nothing new is ever achieved by conforming to expected social norms. This is not only true for society's innovators. Everybody needs a strong sense of their own worth as an individual. This is essential for psychological well-being and the ability to function effectively in one's personal and professional life. Paying too much attention to society's conventions can be counterproductive in these and other ways. And now we have the essay. Composition. OK, you could have gone for a, be for a better title, I guess. Yes, yes, it is a composition. Um, you could have called it change, conformity, change and conformity, society... Um, something, something like that. So both texts show different points of view of the change, of the changes uh, produced in society along the time. So both texts show different points of view of, yeah, I guess of, about, whoops, about the changes produced in society along, to, along the time. Yeah, changes are not something new, but they have never been as radical and as fast, I think, or as fast They've never been as radical in the past. You see, here in the past, I would be happier with a past simple rather than the present perfect. But they, but so, but in the past, they were never as radical or as fast or as fast as they are nowadays. In fact, in the last century we have seen no last century finished time we saw 
how these changes were so frequent and fast that it is difficult for some people so in fact in the last century we saw how these changes were so frequent and so fast I would probably say so fast and frequent I don't know why fast and frequent I'm happy with that order with so with so fast and frequent that it is so that it was and still is difficult for some people especially the more mature among us to deal with them. So in fact in the last century we saw how these changes were so fast and frequent that it was and still is difficult for some people especially the more mature among us to deal with them. The first text sets out like the phrasal verb how the generation gap may cause misunderstandings between people of different generations. The usage of technology is an example. Yay! A semicolon. Its usage I in public is considered as rude by the elderly, whereas it is deemed an essential for young people. The best solution to this issue is knowing and respecting each other's needs. The second text states that people should not be tied by social conventions. On the contrary, everyone should behave according to their, let's stress, their own beliefs and rules. That is essential not only for genius but for everybody I, for, I would say for genii, genii, geniuses but also for everybody's personal integrity it concludes that being led by society's norms can cause more harm than good if it is excessive. These texts remark, remark on, remark on, on the pros and cons of social change. On the one hand, these changes may lead to a broadening of the generation gap if both groups do not cooperate. Shortening this generational distance requires knowing and respecting each other's needs. Okay, I'm, I'm quite happy with this short broadening and shortening, which is easier said than done. On the other hand, we can see that evolution both within a society and at how that ends there and at a personal level is based on on that is based on uh, 
is based on that respect and knowledge on that mind that m mindset that point of view is based on that concept if we want to progress and advance changes are necessary as they have as they have always been unnecessary as they have always been had nobody dared to defy the theory that the earth is flat had nobody dared to defy the theory that the earth is flat we would not have arrived in America yet in, in, in America yet nor would the middle class dream even be a dream because there would be there would not be a middle class because there would B. No middle class. As most of us would be the illiterate serfs of a lucky, of a few lucky ones, of a lucky few. In conclusion, without respect for everybody, we would not be capable of anything good. However, being respectful does not mean accepting blindfold, good word, any, everything that has been passed handed over, handed down from generation to generation that has been passed down. That is, I, I, I like both of them. I'm going to go for handed down from generation to generation. Okay, this is pretty good. They're not, they're, uh, there's, uh, there, there, there are not a lot of corrections here by me. Um, so, let's see. Um, communicative, uh, sorry, no, uh, content. Did you answer the question? I think you've answered the question pretty well. Um, yeah, psychological well-being. Um, I think I'm probably going to give you a four out of five for content. I think you've interpreted the task well and achieved it quite well. Communicative achievement. The writing is appropriate for the task. Very definitely. You use the right style and register for the genre. Very definitely. Um, it holds the reader's attention. Yes. Communicative achievement. Four out of five. Organization. Again, four out of five. It leads very through it. It's very easy to read. Um, it, it's e easy to follow. Um, the ideas are clearly connected. Uh, four. Language. Good range of vocabulary and grammar. Very definitely. Uh, I think probably four, five. Four. I think I'm going to go for four. Um, Therefore, that's an overall eight out of ten. That is an A. This one, this this essay is certainly better than the other one. is a is a good essay. Well done. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, uh, give it a rating. Uh, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. So comparing two texts uh, about society. <laughs>